billionaire Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway say it says the billionaire family, the Haslam family, tried to bribe at least 15 executives at Pilot with millions of dollars. Now that's a claim in a counter lawsuit filed this week. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is, I don't know if y'all heard, but Berkshire and Hathaway have been going at it with Jim Haslam. They squabbling, boy, the billionaires is squabbling. What they squabbling about? They squabbling about the pilot flying J centers. Federal investigation is underway into Jimmy Haslam's pilot flying J. That investigation was launched after Berkshire Hathaway, which owns 80% of pilot flying J, filed a lawsuit. All right, well, uh, first of all, thanks for coming by on a Friday afternoon, we appreciate it. I know there's lots of questions and Candidly, I'd like to be able to answer your questions, and I know that's what you all would like. Um, hopefully you'll understand that this is, although it seems like a lot longer, at least to me. You damn right, Jimmy, we need some answers. We need to know, did you do bad business on the front end of the deal, which made Berkshire Hathaway go after you on the back end and do bad business back to you? Is that what happened, Jimmy? If they follow this test, they need not fear my other message to them. Lose money for the firm and I will be understanding. Lose a shred of reputation for the firm and I will be ruthless. Uh, somebody asked me today if I was gonna step down as president and I thought to myself, well, why would I do that? Um, candidly, um, I haven't done anything wrong, number one. And number two, um, if there's ever a time the company needs our leadership, it's right now. When Jimmy Haslam was showing up at, uh, at NFL owners meetings, Guys, they didn't want nothing to do with him for an or for an owner that's already considered one of the top five worst in all of sports. I mean, a total clown. Look, a total clown. I wouldn't think, as long as this remained a non-criminal matter, that that's going to matter anyway. Okay, but it could, and it's certainly something that people involved. With the Cleveland Browns, their general manager, their coach, maybe even some players, they're going to get asked about. You know, I don't necessarily think it, again, unless something happened involving the Browns and they find some underhandedness there, he's not going to be forced to sell over this or anything like that, I wouldn't think. Now, you add a little layer of, he tried to bribe some executives to inflate prices for uh, for the rest of the sale on the company oh man what what a clown this guy is who have been taken advantage of in financial transactions and you know it really is it's sad and for one thing i mean just the charges involved the frictional costs and the the baloney that is is presented charlie and i have had very good luck in terms of buying businesses and putting our trust in people, uh, it's been just overwhelmingly good. But we filter out a lot of people. And then they say, "How well, how do you filter them out? Uh, I would say, and I think Charlie will agree with this, people give themselves away fairly often. And maybe it does help to have been around as long as we have in seeing the various ways they give, uh, give themselves away. We will continue to work through this process. I think it will probably be a difficult process. But at the same time, I told our team today, I'm highly confident we'll emerge from this an even better company than we are today. And candidly, I think we got a hell of a company today. And I'm not at all ashamed to say this. I think I said this to you all Monday. I think we had a great company Sunday night. I think we had a great company Tuesday night. And I think a week from now, it'll be a great company. And I think a year from now, it'll be an even better company. And it's not going to be easy, but we'll work through it and we'll emerge even stronger than we have in the past. In the meantime, we've got 23,000 men and women out there working hard, uh, taking care of truck drivers and making sure those truck drivers keep all the goods and services America needs moving. And we'll continue to do that on a 24 hour basis, 365 days a year. I don't know, Jimmy. I smell some fish. Smelling real fishy around here. 
Did you bribe them people? How much did you pay them, Jimmy? How much money did you pay them, Jimmy? Let me know. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section, man. Did Jimmy bribe these people? Because if he did, Warren Buffett has got them alphabet boys on his ass. FBI done got involved. And now we fixing to see what the turnout going to be. I sure hope the Cleveland Browns start doing better and you start figuring out some things, Jimmy, because, boy, it's sure looking shaky on your end. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Hit me in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell on your way out. And until next time, Runaway Child. And we are out. Jimmy Haslam, how's everybody doing? Now, as you've probably heard by this point, Pilot Flying J is currently under investigation by the FBI for massive corruption. Now, let me just start by saying this. I adamantly deny any wrongdoing. And I assure you, these allegations will be proven false. Now, I know a lot of you Browns fans have expressed concern that I might bring this same unethical business approach to my management of your beloved Cleveland Browns. But just let me remind you of this. I've made Flying J a hugely profitable and successful business. I hope to bring that same success to your struggling football team. Sometimes you gotta get your hands a little dirty if you wanna get ahead. Now, your last owner, Randy Lerner, was a squeaky clean businessman who always played by the rules. And for those of you who are worried that I might end up in jail because of this, now come on. Do you have any idea how the American justice system works? I'm a white billionaire. We don't go to jail, we go to Maui. In fact, I already picked out which Flying J Vice President I'm gonna pay to take the rap for me. Cody, get in here, buddy. Here he is. And my nephew Cody, everybody, he's gonna go to jail for me. Isn't that right, Cody? Sure thing, Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Cody here's the Vice President of, uh, Oh, hell, I don't remember. He's vice president of going to jail for me is what he is. <laughs> here, have a thousand dollars. Get out of here. There are times in every man's life when he finds adversity in his path and he has to overcome it. Unless you're a rich man like me, then all you get to do is bribe adversity to get the hell out of your way. <laughs> Go Browns! Jimmy's out!